so uh, this uh, free op, how do you say this? I think it's just free op. F-R-E-O-P-P dot org. Yeah. They just did a full comprehensive rate of return analysis on college, and it's called Is College Worth It? And it's from freeop.org, F-R-E, one E, O-P-P. So this report assesses the economic value of nearly 30,000 bachelor's degree programs at 1,775 colleges and universities across the United States. Very interesting detailed study on this. In, four in five engineering programs have an ROI above five hundred thousand dollars. Wow! You get a degree in engineering, you will make your money back and make an extra five hundred thousand dollars over your life, at least, as a result of having done this. But what was the number? Was it one in sixteen? What was the sixteen number? Sixteen percent have a negative ROI of, of all programs. So almost one in five of all not engineering of all degrees. So when you get this degree and you pay too much for it at some kind of a famous school because you wanted to go to a famous school or you study something that's just dumb, you're just dumb for getting a degree in that. It's kind of weird that we're dumb about education, but we are. And that's just dumb to get a degree in this nuanced BB stacking underwater BB stacking. I've got a master's degree in that. You know, I've got a master's degree in Czechoslovakian medieval art. That doesn't ROI? You're not going to make money on this, dude. This is going to be a long... There's only one thing you can do with that. Become a professor of Czechoslovakian art. That's all you can do. There's no jobs for that except at Starbucks. That's it. And so you're going to be a barista. That's what you're going to be. And there's no ROI on your Czechoslovakian medieval art degree. So this is the thing, like, it's crazy. Yeah, and it, it goes on to say here, and this is no shocker, that the bachelor's deg degree programs like engineering, computer science, uh, economics, nursing, they, they do have a positive ROI. But when you start to go into art, music, philosophy, religion, psychology, it says students can be financially worse off than if they'd never gone to college at all. And so that scares me. And a lot of people, they're not thinking about college choice, and they're not thinking about the ROI of their degree. And we talk about how we're not against education. We just want the education to match the goals. So if you want to be a nurse, yes, you got to go to school. But if you want to go into art, unless you want to be an art teacher, you may not need to go get a four-year degree at the Ivy League school. Yeah, and uh, after accounting for the risk of dropping out, ROI for the median bachelor's degree drops to 129000 on average. That's the median. Mm. Over a quarter of the programs have a negative ROI. Elite schools like Caltech and Penn dominate the list of the highest ROI programs, but attending an elite school is not a golden ticket. Some Ivy League degrees have negative ROI. And let me just tell you, it's, it's hard to get an ROI when you pay $200,000 for a bachelor's degree. I don't care what it's in. It's hard to get a return on that investment. And, and versus if you'd have paid $60,000 for that same degree from a state school, you would have gotten the same freaking job, by the way. The same exact job. Mm. If you got, you know, a degree in IT security, four-year degree in information systems, specialization in IT security, excellent degree field. You got a degree in supply chain. Oh, my God. Obviously, we need some of those people working right now. And so, um, you know, you got a degree in that. That's a big-time job. I mean, most of those jobs, people are coming out, state school making 85000 bucks right now with an undergrad, wow. no no master's, okay? And now that's a legitimate ROI, and you paid 60000 bucks for that or less for that degree. But if you want to go freaking over to some Ivy League and pay two and a quarter for that, it doesn't ROI as quick, and, and even when it does, it's not as good, obviously, because you overpaid for the same, virtually the same education. Yeah, I almost fell into that trap. I almost went to film school, and it cost two hundred grand for four years. And I didn't even know about Ramsey, and I thought, this doesn't sound like a good idea. I don't know that I'm going to be the next big director, so maybe I shouldn't spend two hundred grand on film school. Wow. Uh, so there's a lot of mistakes people are making, and it all comes down to parents, guidance counselors, the college industry. There's so much pressure that these 17, 18-year-olds are feeling to make the biggest financial decision of their life. Well, and the, across the culture, we've lied to them that you have to get a college degree to succeed. A, not true. B, the implication is is that getting a college degree in something stupid is okay. It's not okay. C, going to any stupid school and overpaying is okay. That's not okay either. So get a degree that you don't pay a lot for in something that causes you to actually 
go into the marketplace and win. Boom. There's and the formula. So, you know, but I mean, the meme that's going around, I saw it the other day on Instagram, the one time a month I'm on there, um, said, uh, you know, here's Jim, the philosophy major, uh, who hasn't had a job in two years, and he lives in his mother's basement, or he lives in his whatever, and here's Joe, who Jim makes fun of because he doesn't have a college degree, making $85,000 a year as a lineman. He's cutting off Jim's electricity right now. <laughs> so that's the meme that's going on. That's a good meme. Now. So, that you know, that's that's it. That's what's going on. So check it out, borrowedfuture.com. Make sure your teens are watching this. Degrees and knowledge are important. Doing them stupid would be a bad idea.